Hello everyone. Today we're doing some more Looney and Legacy PvP, and today we're showing off Salt Cheese. So this is after I did the Mind Type video, by the way. I just did this, and Salt Cheese did pretty good in it. So we're gonna have a showcase video. It's a 200, 200, 100 set. It's Nimble Smart with the Mystic Wand, and it's gonna hit very hard today, especially since there is a Swolder. So. This looks pretty good already, and there's an Aetros and a Mulder, so there's a lot of stuff I can actually hit, which is very good. I'm going to bring us Eclipse, I'm going to bring Hember, and I'm going to bring... I don't really have anything for the Revenine. Hmm. I'll bring you for the Mulder, I guess. Although there's a Trumble, which is scary. Let's let's lead with Sachi, actually, because Sachi's actually a great lead here. Who does he go into? Vesperati, I gotta swap out. Vesperati, Shadow Smite can one shot me, so I don't want to take that risk. I'm gonna go into my Eclipse. I have 100 in the health just to give it more overall health to live on the field, but you could also put it in melee defense so you could live a Vesperati Shadow Sprint. I'm gonna swap out though. I'm gonna go into my Eclipse because I do not want. I could have just stayed in. He's going to swap out. There's no way he stays in, so I'm actually going to double back into my Salt G. I'm going to double back into it. And we can see if we can get a good matchup. Let's see what he does. See what he goes into. Nimmeray. I don't think Nimmeray one-shots me. Although, I don't think... Do I two-shot Nimmeray? I have no idea. Let's spell chant and see what we can do. I actually outspeed it, which is interesting. Oh, I do over half. That's insane. Wow. That does over half health to a Nimmeray. Yeah, Salchi hits hard. <laughs> it's very hard. That a neutral hit at half health. See what he does next. I'm glad I made that double. Who did he go into? He could risk Vesperado, but Vesp even Vesperado doesn't really want to tank the hit. Well, Nimmeray's dead. Salchi already got Salchi already got a kill. Very good start. Let's see where he goes into next. He's gonna go into Vesperado. I mean, thing is, it's it's way too predictable if he does, because if he goes into Vesperado, I go into the cliff. So, oh, he just goes into Revenine, actually. I'm gonna go into Terra Claw. I should be able to soak a Vengeance hit, so I'm going to do that. We're going to go into my Terra Claw to soak a hit. There we go. It goes to Terra Claw. I should be able to tank this hit. He actually just goes to the Accelerate. I do not know why it made that decision. It's probably a Final Roost set, if it has Accelerate. Vengeance should not hit me on this turn, so it probably is not a Vengeance set. It burned me. You're kidding. It got a burn. Well, that is just not good. That's awful, actually, that it got a burn. Only my luck that my Terra Claw would get burned. I'm just going to stay in and just keep clicking Cyclone Slam. So, yeah. That's really unfortunate. He actually swaps out. He goes probably in the best. Goes to Aetatross, actually. I Cyclone Slam it. It's going to do, like, nothing because I'm burned. I'm going to swap out, and I'm going to go into my Himber. Here we go. Let's go into Himber. That's what I brought Himber for, is for the Aetatross, and also the Swolder. Now, yes, Slotchy can deal with the Swolder, but only, but it's only good as a Revenge Killer to it. From boost, well, yeah. Good idea, my friend. I'm going to go for an Icicle Trap, because there's no way Aetatross would stay in in this. Avatross would swap out, and even if it does stay in, it's not going to do that much. I'm robust. So, I think this is a good matchup for me. See what he does, though. Here we go. I think he's swapping out. He's thinking about this, at least. I want to see if I can make Salty back in, although I don't know if I can, because it's very frail, and it, Revenine outspeeds it, so it's going to be kind of tough to bring Salty in. It goes into the trouble, actually. Perfect. I got a perfect situation to get my Salty back in. I 
can't do it now, though. I got traps up, which is nice. But I gotta go into... I don't have anything for this, actually. I do have to revenge kill. Yeah, I think that's what I'm gonna do, actually. Although it could quick pounce, not thinking about it. That's scary. Oh, Mega Chomp. Okay. I kind of want to sack my Terra Claw. As weird as that sounds, I kind of want to sack my Terra Claw because if it's a Trumbull, Revenine, Vest, to Eclipse beat both the Revenine and the Vesperado. And I have Blue Long as well. His Nimari dead. So it's Avatross, Trumbull, that. So I'm just going to rough up. Good, Body Slam me. I want you to take me out. Good. Now I can go into my Salt Chi and Revenge Kill you. So that's going to be the plan. I don't think a Quick Pounce one shot. me. So I'm going to go for a Foul Chance. Let's see what he does. Yeah, this Salt Chi is looking very good right now. Is he going to go into Vesperati? Even then, Vesperati doesn't even really want to tank the hit. Nothing on his team really wants to tank the hit. Not even the AV Tross. So yeah, I know his whole team. I didn't need the Terra Claw, other than potentially the Revenite. And even then, I have Zulong and the Clips for it. So, and if I predict one of those two coming in, I can take him out too. I saw you. So, he stays in. His Trumbull will get one shot it because this is a super effective hit, and Trumbull's weak on the range defense. So, thought you getting two kills. That is really huge for me. He's probably going to go back into the Revenine, which is scary. If he goes in the Revenine, it's going to be very scary. So it goes in the best. I'm going to go into my Teclips. Here we go. Let's go into the Teclips. This is kind of a long battle. It's already seven minutes. But Sachi's doing very good in this battle. Has both of, has both of the kills so far. So I'm going to go into my Teclips. Let's see what he does. So I'm swapping into the Clips. He's probably going to go into his AV Charles. That's probably his only swap and he has really left. Yeah, I think he doubled out into it. Yeah, he doubled into the AV Charles, which is very smart. Although the traps are dealing some damage. So I'm going to go back into my Himber. And I think I'm going to click Earthquake. And the reason why I'm going to click Earthquake is to predict the Revenine coming back in. So that's going to be the plan. It's going to go for a nose die. And I'm going to predict the Revenine coming in. It makes sense. I'm going to click the Ice type move. So he's going to go into Revenine. So I think Revenine is going to come in here. I'm going to make that predict because Avatross doesn't do anything. Like, even though I did Earthquake, Avatross does nothing to me. And plus, it's just recoiling itself, so this is fine that I just set attack. I think I'm going to Ice Hammer this turn now. But I'm letting him know that I am... He actually Brawl Boosted. I'm glad it's coming out. Wait, Speeder's in the game. Hey, hi Speeder, how you doing? If you're watching this video, which I doubt you are. Hi Speeder. Oh! The timing of that is impeccable. It's impeccable. That was insane timing. There's a Revenine. Yeah, this thing's scary. Although Avery Charles is dead, so I can actually just stay in and just attack it. So there we go. Let's see what he does. He's just going to fire breath. That makes sense. I probably won't live to hit. Revenine is very hard, especially if it's Vengeance. It's 100% Vengeance. Now, Zulong would be the game, although, I think I'm going to go into my Thought Chi and try to do something. I'm going to try to see if my Thought Chi can get a couple kills in here. I have Zulong in the back. I'm not worried. I have Zulong and Eclipse for his last two. So, I'm just going to try something and see what I can do here. If he goes in the best variety, he loses best. His Revenine should outspeed Thought Chi, though. Revenine should, even though I'm nimble. Revenine's on V-Nimble, so we'll see what he does. Although Sochi does have a decent range defense. It's his melee defense that is really low. His range defense is just average. I'll have to look at the stats again to see, though. See what he does. 
taking a little bit too long. His decision's obvious. Either swap out, either critique his old chant, or go in the, or stay in and just attack me. Which honestly, he just he should just stay and attack me. Never mind. Sachi's gonna get another kill. <laughs> Let's go get out of here, Vesperado. Not every day you see a Sachi defeat a Vesperado. Today is the day. So Sachi with three kills in this game. He should have just attacked me. I think he's trying to get another Benton boost. Although he should be able to one-shot me, so I'm kind of shocked about that. Another elemental burst, and that should be the game. Either he takes me out, or he goes accelerate, and I still take him out. So, that's going to be the plan. And I think that will be the video, because this is actually a 12-minute... I'll speed you. Okay. <laughs> I was shocked that I outsped it. Very smart? Very smart. I can do another battle, but guess what? I think Sochi showed what it could do. It got four of the five kills there. So yeah, there's there's Sochi. It's actually really good. And the thing that's really good about Sochi is that... You know what? Should I? Let's do it. Let's do another quick battle. I'm sorry, guys. But if there's just if someone gives me a battle, I gotta do it. See what you have. You have a Mutagon, you have a Oxygen. Let's do it. You also have the Wind Trick, so I can actually use this a little bit. We're gonna Oh, I don't have Vest. I don't have Vest for Muta. Oh. Okay. That's gonna be kinda tough. I'm gonna bring this. And I'm gonna bring this. I wanna bring Timber though, so I can live that. I don't wanna do it over that though. You know what? Let's do it. Let's lead off with the Salt Chi and see what we can do. If he leads with Muta, led with Akalo. I don't like that matchup whatsoever. I should be able to outspeed it, but I don't think I one-shot it. I don't think I one-shot Akalo. It actually has solid health, so I'm actually going to go into my wrestling. Wrestling's going to be the play. So yep, yeah, let's go into wrestling. He just goes for the trap. I'm not particularly weak to them, so I'm okay with that. I'm gonna go for Adaptive Assault. Okay, that's big to get out of there. It lives? It's robust, man. It's gotta be a robust one. I'm gonna go for a Blaze Punch in case he swaps. And who knows? I could just get a burn on, like, Mutagon or something. So, I'm just gonna do that. He's Secret Ability. That was a Secret Ability, Akalon. That was a secret ability at Colossus, by the way. Because that did normal damage. Interesting. Well, his Oxydrake's also down. If he goes into Mutagon, I should just go into my... If he goes into Winchrex, actually. I'm just going to whack it as hard as I can. Because after the Salt, I actually outspeed the Winchrex. Oh my goodness. And a quick, we're going to get a quick little wrestling sweep. Unless you're blind. But you're not. Okay. <laughs> oh my goodness. Forget this being a Sochi showcase. This is actually a wrestling showcase on how strong wrestling is. Because, yeah, it's currently sweeping his team. He should go into Mutagon, though. There we go. There's Mutagon. I'm just going to whack it. Get rid of its tank so my Sochi can finish it off. So, let's do that. It's, hopefully he just goes for me and takes me out. That did, like, no damage. Oh my goodness. It missed. Oh my goodness, it missed. I'm going to flail at it. Oh, I shouldn't. I have to rest. I'm resting because I don't want to... I don't want him to, like, brawl boost or something. No, we just go for another one. I'm fine with that. All right. Now let's go into Salt Cheat. And let's do as much as we can. Here we go. There's the Salt Cheat. Now let's... The Foul Chant. Foul Chant is neutral. This is a chance. Let's see. Let's see how much it does against a Mutagon at this health. Almost one shot. Wow, that's insane. Frost Punch does almost nothing. Going to go for the E-Burst. Casey swaps out. There we go. Sachi with the KO. <laughs> the Icicle Traps are bigger than the Sachi itself. That's kind of insane. Then there's, there's, there's that, which I will spell chant, and that will be game over. You forfeit it, and that will be the game.
So yeah, that saw cheese. Very, very, very strong. Because yeah, it actually does have solid range defense. Because it does counteract with the solid health. It's just its melee defense is very low. But the, but before I end this video, Mystic Wand makes it so it has its own item. So you basically have a free damage dealer that doesn't use either a power cost or an essence that you could particularly use on your team. So that's another reason why Salt Cheese is really good, because it's just a free item spot for anyone else you can place on your team. I hope you all enjoyed this video, and I will see you all all later. Bye!